All right there guys, listen up. I'm here at the uh, Stadio Olimpico in Rome. I come to see England against Ukraine in the Euro 2020 quarterfinals. I've managed to get a ticket, but there's a bit of a twist. I didn't realize the ticket would be in the Ukraine end. I've got to try and get into the stadium first with no problems and then go over the entire match without getting my head kicked in by some Ukrainian football hooligans. So you can see I'm not decked out in national colors. I'm, uh, I've gone for this kind of like blue color. Let's see if we can do it, it should be fun. So how did I end up here? Many of you will know, long time uh, viewers of the channel, that I live in Belgium and you can actually travel at the moment, no problem from Belgium to Italy as long as you have a Covid test before going. So my test came back negative. I booked a flight not to Rome, to Perugia, uh, just north of Rome, about, oh, about 100 miles north of Rome actually. And then really early today I set off from Brussels, met some Ukrainians at the airport and we took the bus together to Perugia train station and we had to walk a little bit through Perugia and then we took a train when England beat Germany the other day and I had a feeling that tickets would be available to English guys like me living in uh, other parts of Europe um, I just had to go it might be the only chance I ever get to see England in a quarter final and then my tickets finally arrived on my uh, app for the tournament today and I saw that it said Ukraine fans so I mean I know travel from the Ukraine has been very difficult as well so let's hope uh, there's not too many of them and I'm not gonna get found out We're in, we're outside the stadium. Look at this, beautiful stadium, Stadio Olimpico. I've been here once before actually to see Roma play. So here we go, quite a mix of fans. There's some Ukrainian, some English. I have a feeling we're gonna be okay. So we just found out Denmark will be the opponents for the winner of today's game. We met Harry Maguire. Sorry, sorry, guys. Some guy just said we're worse than Latin. Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire. He drinks the vodka. He drinks the Jaeger. Harry Maguire. Why is Harry Maguire singing about himself? Well there we go and because of the quarter capacity attendance you come out and it's like being at a championship game at best. Game. Maybe Norwich against like um, <laughs> Norwich, Rotherham? Norwich against, Norwich against Rotherham in the first yes. round of the Carabao well, there's Cup. There's a lot of Norwich fans here. <laughs> what a stadium, what a night. Do we want to buy any crap from the fan shop? No. <laughs> Let's not give any more money to UEFA than we need to. Do you want to go for a sprint in town? Let's do it, let's do it. Let's not be the idiots who jump in the Trevi Fountain, but... <laughs> We'd be Ukraine in the quarterfinal, oh, Trevi Fountain! Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's be honest, the historic game was the other day. <laughs> but, yeah, but... but 4-0 quarterfinal England, you don't expect that either, so... I think, I, think, I think it would have been more difficult against Sweden. 
Sebastian Larson. He's older than most people. <laughs> Please don't take me home. Isn't that why we're all Brits who don't live in the UK now or something? Because we don't want to go home. No, but they won't let home. us in. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we can't go home. Don't take us home because we can't go home. What a game. Well, again, we kind of killed, we kind of killed it a bit too early, you know. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. I was yeah. like, we the, got the five, last minute. It was honest. just like, Whoa. Whoa, oh, mate, you take it every day. Don't you? Yeah, oh yeah, without a doubt. Court final, four 0 in Rome. <laughs> Yeah. Got an episode of Love Island going on over there. Do you have any good anti-Ukraine? <laughs> my, let me just bust Come out my anti-Ukraine repertoire. <laughs> just uh, uh, how about how about uh, just how about Justin Timberlake cry me a river? <laughs> cry cry me a river. <laughs> I don't think that would go down too. <laughs> Didn't they have this controversial thing with the shirt? They like they printed a map and it had Crimea still as part of Ukraine. On it. It's coming up, football's coming up! Yeah. Right, next level stuff. Do any of you know the World in Motion rap that John Barnes did? Oh, no, I wish I did. That is next level stuff. Something about Catch Me If You Can and the England it. Man. <laughs> You spoke again. to Shearer and Parker. Shearer and Parker, can we have your live reactions hey, after the game? Nice you friend, nice fans. friend. Oh, awesome, love it. Irish bar. Love this. How are we going to celebrate Irish bar? Oh. <laughs> Jack Greenish is said. Yeah, re-machine. <laughs> look, it's uh, Jordan Pickford. Oh no, not quite. A wild one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half expecting to like see Jordan Pickford like uh, just come and sit down with us. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, I missed the flight, didn't I? <laughs> Short back and stomp it. I just thought, um, I just thought I'd get the rave on. <laughs> I think can is easier. Although you're a Scandi, you can open it on the ledge, can't you? <laughs> Look, the Romans have erected an arch to celebrate England's fantastic victory <laughs> over the Ukrainians. <laughs> Looking back at when you first met, I cannot escape and I cannot forget. Southgate, you're the one, you still turn me on. Football's coming home again. I can film I can film I can film Legend. Good Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can film yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's playing for uh, Wickham uh, Wonders. Yeah, Wickham Wonders. Yeah. 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 He, he played for us twice, actually. Even though he's a striker, everybody put him in defence on their ultimate team. Yeah. On FIFA, yeah, he's the strongest. Yamo Lenk. Oh, wait. You're just a Wrong team. On a <laughs> It looks like the police are trying to arrange their own super spreader event. I quite enjoyed when we were 1-0 up. Yeah. Like some of the chanting at Ukraine, like you're not singing anymore. And like, where, you know, like in a stadium, like the response is instant back home. And they're like, you can see a few of them are like translating it hey, to each other. And then they go, oh, right, they're saying this. Okay, we will come back with Ukraine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were literally spelling out the name of their country. I'm not sure. If, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure I've ever been to an England game. They've gone, give me an A. <laughs> give me an A. What did that spell? Okay, guys, did you know that the only place open at four o'clock in the morning in Rome is a flower market? Look at this. What's what? And there's a stupid English guy speaking French to the Italian locals. Well, what a day yesterday was. Still struggling to take it all in, you know. Obviously, in the end, I had absolutely <laughs> no reason to worry about having a Ukraine ticket because all the fans were mixed in, as you could see anyway, which was uh, <laughs> maybe a bit uh, symptomatic of UEFA's ticket out problem, let's say. Oh, look, a wedding. So it was really good fun. It was one of those once in a lifetime things. When am I ever going to be one of the only England fans who can go to the game? You know, living abroad uh, has its disadvantages, but this was uh, 
a strange advantage that came around being able to go to this game. So if you're ever doubting doing something a little bit crazy like this, I mean, I booked the tickets the day before and I flew to an airport, not even in Rome. I flew to somewhere else in Italy and then took the train and a little adventure across the country. It's great fun doing that kind of thing. So highly recommended. Uh, come on England for the title. I think we're going to do it. Take care, everyone. Uh, stick around for some more videos. I've got another sporting one coming up uh, in the, the next month or so. And I'm going to upload the rest of, I think I've got a couple more from Spain, uh, which I still haven't uploaded yet. And a few more in Belgium as well. So keep traveling. It's time to get traveling again, I think, guys. Look, the tourists are back in Rome. If you're doubting traveling and it's uh, possible for you to do it, go out and do it if it's what you really want to do because it's what I live for. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Over and out from Rome.